Hello, welcome to another UK EDC video review. I'd like to start off by wishing you a happy 2016 as we're now on January the 8th and I'd like to start this year's videos with the Leatherman Juice S2. You may remember I did a review on the Leatherman Juice XE6 which was good but it was too big and too heavy. There's literally too much on there and there's a lot of the things on there were quite superfluous. So I basically did a bit of a trade for this one and something else which I'll show you today today. So why is this so good? It's not just me that raves about this. If you look on any YouTube channel from some of the big people up there, they rave about these. So what I like about it is this is my current EDC. This goes with me pretty much everywhere. It's a Swiss Army knife climber, I believe it is. As you see, the dimensions are pretty much the same uh, in length and pretty much in thickness. So it's a nice, easy, everyday carry. A little bit heavier, but it does punch, punch a few tools in there, which makes it so. So from the outside, there's an easily accessible, very sharp blade. He's about two inches long and easy to maintain. A nice little spear point on there. Also from the outside, we can access, this is a can opener and a bottle lifter. It does open cans. I made the mistake of saying it wouldn't work and of course when I tried it, it did. So that's quite a, a good little tool. And we have a decent pair of scissors. These, far are, these are far superior to the ones on the Swiss Army knife. So we've got some nice little tools on the outside, easy accessible. As we know, when you open up a Leatherman, you have a pair of nice pliers on there. Needle point, you can actually use these as a pair of tweezers. I've actually tried this by pulling out hairs just to see if it would work. And of course we've got gripping surfaces and we've got wire cutters in there. Also within the handles on this side, we have three screwdrivers from the large size and a medium one. They're quite tricky to get out and a lot of people complain because they keep breaking them, breaking nails or cutting themselves when they spring out but there you go, it's part of having a leather one I suppose. And a medium size, so you've got three screwdrivers, that should tackle just about anything. And on the other internal section here we have a pretty nice Phillips head screwdriver, full size, not one of the ones where it's chamfered in. And deep within there, which are buggers to get out, is somewhere to put a lanyard. So, nice and compact, nice little selection of tools. These are the tools you probably would use, or I certainly would use, every single day, hence the everyday carry. I've yet to find a decent pouch for it to use it on my belt. The Leatherman ones, which are like the spongy ones, I did have one of them for the XC6, and it was so crap, I basically put it down somewhere, I can't find it, and I don't really want to, so I may make one out of leather. Price point on these is about 60 quid, 70 quid, so you're talking about 80 bucks if you're in the USA. Get them from anywhere, anywhere sells these kind of places. Have a search around the internet, see if you can find yourself some discount codes. I'm filming this now on a new camera I've purchased. This is a Canon Legira, or Legria. Uh, Mini XD, so hopefully we're going to see some improvements in quality and sound. Uh, please let me know what you think about this video. Please leave me a thumbs up, please leave me a like, please leave me a comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. I'm always looking for things to review, so if you have something you'd like to review, please get in touch and we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great 2016 wherever you are in the world. Keep watching and goodbye.